welcome back to my channel. So today I will do a makeup tutorial of this look right here, obviously. <laughs> but today I will do this video a little bit different. So before I start this video, I just really have to say that I have nothing against Kylie Cosmetics or Kylie Jenner in general. I'm so inspired by Kylie and I think that she's really like succeeding in her life and she is still so young and I mean like kudos to you really honestly I feel like we need more like powerful and strong women in the world so this video is definitely not like a diss or anything like you should go and buy these shadows and do not buy her palette. I'm just saying that there are options. That's all. So yeah, so I found this blog post from a girl called futilitiesandmore.blogspot.com and I, I'm sure that I totally just slaughtered that uh, name. I'm, I'm so sorry if you are watching this. <laughs> Anyways, I will leave a blog, blog post girl. I will leave the link to the original blog post down below because I am not the kind of person that just takes an idea and run with it and not crediting anybody. Anyways, she actually figured out the dupes for Kylie Jenner's Royal Peach palette and it is all Makeup Geek shadows. Anyways, when I saw her palette, I was like, I need that in my life. So I did what everybody else did. I went to her website and I had it in my basket or whatever. And when I was about to check out, it was sold out. So I couldn't get it and I mean, I guess that now when I hear all of these reviews that it smells like chemicals and the shades are not even that pigmented and all of that, I just feel like maybe, maybe it was meant to be. <laughs> because with the custom fees and with the shipping that I would have to pay because I live in Sweden, that would be, like, that would be a lot of money anyways I don't know I just feel like everything happens for a reason and when I stumbled upon this blog post I was just like I need those makeup geek shadows in my life so I actually got them all so I have them here in my custom MAC palette um, I did have to put like magnets on at the back of them but that is only because I have a MAC palette. I mean, who has a MAC palette nowadays? I mean, everybody has C palettes. I don't know, I have like three of them, so I just felt like I have to use them, but whatever. And yeah, I'm just going to tell you guys what all of these shadow names are, and I will also create a look with all of them. So yeah, I'm so excited for this video. Um, I mean, I've already done the video, obviously. <laughs> So first of all, I will show you the dupes and then I will move over to the tutorial. I will do both with voiceover because I just feel like it is so much easier that way. So yeah, if you want to see all of this, then keep on watching. So first up is Peach Smoothie and the same shade in the Kylie palette is called Sorbet. Next, we have a dear old grandstand, and the same shade in the Kylie palette is called Duchess. And then we have in the spotlight, but I would say that Cinderella is much more of a dupe for Kylie's shade Seashell. So then we have Mango Tango, and the same shade in the Kylie palette is called Peachy. And then we have Latte, but I would say that Barcelona Beach is much more similar to Sandy. Next we have Pixie Dust, and in the Kylie palette it is called Mojito. Then we have Pillow Talk, and in Kylie's palette it is called North Star. And then we have Neptune, which allegedly is identical to Royal. Next we have Gold Digger, and you will find that one as Queen B in the Kylie palette. Then we have Roulette, and the same shade in the palette is called Juke. So next is Tuscan Sun, and in the Kylie palette it is called Crush. And last but not least we have Sidekick, and the same shade in the Kylie palette is called Cinnamon. 
Okay, so moving on to the tutorial. So first of all, I would like to apologize for my nose contour in this video. I think that my contacts are making me blind or something, but <clears throat> anyways, first and foremost, we are priming with Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then we are moving on to the foundation. And for today's foundation, I will be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear, and I will be using some highlighting oil to make it a bit less matte. And I will also use a beauty blender to apply it with. And by the way, if you're wondering why it says tester at the back of my Cindy Luminizer, it is because I am a shoplifter. <laughs> Kidding! When companies send out PR, you often get products labeled samples or testers, and I'm just too lazy to remove all of those labels. So yeah, now you know. <laughs> Next, I'm going in with my dearest MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20, and I have recently felt that this concealer goes way better with the Estee Lauder foundation than the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. It just blends better. I, I don't know. Then we're going to bake with a Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. And I wanted to use the airspun today, but I left it in my bathroom and I was just too lazy to get up and get it when I was filming. So yeah, that's why I'm not using it today. Next, I'm going in with another favorite of mine, the NYX Define and Refine Foundation Powder in Sand. And I will just use this where I didn't bake. We're made of something. <laughs> And then I will not be using my NYX contour kit today. I will be using the Bombs Bahama Mama as my contour powder today. Just because I felt a little bit adventurous, I guess. <laughs> I have tons of contour powders and they're not getting any younger. So I kind of have to use them. Then I just go into the same NYX foundation powder again and dust away the bake with it. Next, we're going to bring out the diadem that we stole from Caesar, put our hair away, and drown ourselves in wine. <laughs> if, you, if you want me to do a tutorial of this rose water setting spray, I might do it. It was pretty fun to make it, so. Then I just use my beauty blender to lay down my peach fuzz and also to make all the powders blend a lot better together. God, my nose contour, what is that? Girl! Ugh. Anyways, I will go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit in that glow and I will use all of the shades because I just want to be cute and per usual, I will be using a fan brush to apply it with. And then I went in with a peachy blush from Sleek Makeup in the shade Rose Gold and yeah, put some blush on that nose, honey. It will probably help. Jesus Christ! And BAM! We now have freckles and eyebrows. I will leave a link to my full eyebrow tutorial down below if you want to check that one out. Then we're moving on to the eyes and I will prime my lids with MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot to begin with. So then I will just put peach smoothie all over my eyelids and this will work as a really nice base shadow which means that all of the other shadows will go on super smoothly. Next, I'm going in with the shade Mango Tango in the crease, and this will be my transition shade for today. Then with a smaller tapered brush, I will go in with a shade Tuscan Sun in the crease to create some depth and intensify the look a little bit. Most importantly is to always blend. The best way to get any eye look smooth is to add color, blend, add color, blend, add color. Yeah, well, you get it. Blending is key.
Then I will go in with Pixie Dust, which kind of looks yellow when you're mixing it with all of these peachy shades. I mean, it looks lime green in the pans, so that kind of confused me a bit, but um, yeah. I really need to use it with some neutral colors someday to see what color I get, because it's a really interesting color. And I did use some Fix Plus to intensify the pigment of the shadow a little bit. Then I just went in with the same small brush that I used in my crease to blend out the green edges into the crease. I will list all of the brushes that I will be using in today's video in my info box, by the way. I will then use the shade Gold Digger in the corners of my eyes, which seemed to be a good idea at the time, but I will, I will remove it later on. I, I just felt that it all started to look a bit too like yellow, and I don't, I, I don't know. Then I just went in with the same Tuscan Sun eyeshadow and buffed it into my bottom lash line. So like I said before, the yellow tear duct area had to go, so I will instead go in with in the spotlight and I will also drag this up and further onto the lid a bit. So then we're going to blend any edges out and make this look come together. So I will again use Peach Smoothie on a clean brush. Then I will use a black eye coal from MAC in the shade Feline or Feline. I'm very bad with names, you guys know that. To darken up my upper waterline, but also to prep for the liquid eyeliner. And as for my liquid eyeliner, I will first pray a little bit because I just had some coffee, and then I will apply the Bomb Swing eyeliner. So then I just curled my lashes a little bit to prep them for mascara and some falsies and I then went in with not only one but two mascaras. The first one is from MAC and it is the Insta Curl Mascara and I'm using this one for my upper lashes. The other one is from Maybelline and it is the Colossal Spider Effect Mascara and it is perfect for the lower lashes. And lashes are, per usual, from eBay. I will leave a link to these down below if you want to check them out. For my lips today, I will only use a gloss. And this gloss is from Anastasia Beverly Hills and it is in the shade Dainty. And I would m like much more say that this is like a glossy liquid lipstick or something because Jesus Christ, it's so pigmented. And this is the finished look. Yeah. So yeah, that 
that was it for today guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I just want to give a huge thanks to madlady.com because they provided me with the Makeup Geek shadows and I just have to say that I did not get paid to do this. I just got the shadows. They were just kind enough to provide me with these shadows so that I could make this video. So thank you so much for that and yeah. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! Now I'm on the outside.